Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting radical puzzle. Here we have xy known and we have to evaluate the expression 5x plus 7y. x is given to us 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 over 1 minus root 2 plus root 3 and y is 2 plus 3 root 3 plus root 5 over 2 plus root 3 times 2 root 3 plus root 5. So let's get started. I will begin with x. So I will write our x value 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 over. I will write 1 plus root 3 and then I will consider minus root 2. Now I will use rationalization. So I will multiply with the denominators conjugate. It would be 1 plus root 3 plus root 2. By this I will multiply numerator and denominator. So 1 plus root 3 plus root 2. So you can see in the denominator it is a plus b a minus b the difference of two squares. You can see it is a minus b and here it is a plus b. So in denominator we can write 1 plus root 3 whole square a square minus b square root 2 whole square and numerator is straight away 1 plus root 2 plus root 3 whole square. Now I will use algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole square. So a square 1 root 2 square 2 root 3 square 3 plus 2 times this is a square plus b square plus c square done 2 ab plus bc plus ca so 1 times root 2 root 2 root 2 times root 3 root 6 root 3 times root 1 that is root 3 over let's expand a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab and root 2 square is 2. So I will write here 3 plus 2 or 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 2 in bracket root 2 plus root 3 plus root 6 over 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2 plus 2 root 3. Numerator and denominator both are divisible by 2, so I will divide. So I will be writing 3 plus root 2 plus root 3 plus root 6. Once you will divide numerator with 2, it will become this. Now denominator 1 plus root 3. Now I can consider 3 plus root 3 in one bracket root 2 plus root 6 in second bracket. Denominator is 1 plus root 3. Now if I will take here in the first bracket, if I will take root 3 common, then in bracket I will be writing root 3 plus 1. You can check root 3 times root 3, 3, root 3 times 1, root 3. So done. Similarly from the second bracket, I will take root 2 common. So in bracket it will be 1 plus root 3 and denominator is 1 plus root 3. Let me write again 3 plus root 3 plus root 2 plus root 6. It was and denominator was 1 plus root 3. So I am taking actually root 3 common from first bracket then I need to write in the bracket root 3 plus 1 because we know that root 3 times root 3 is 3. Now similarly from the second bracket this bracket I am taking root 2 common. So in bracket 1 plus root 3. Denominator is 1 plus root 3. So if I will take 1 plus root 3 common, then it will be 1 plus root 3 and second bracket root 3 plus root 2. 
डिनोमिनेटर इज वन प्लस रूट थ्री कैंसल वन प्लस रूट थ्री सो अवर एक्स वैल्यू इज कमिंग आउट रूट थ्री प्लस रूट टू दिस इज अवर एक्स नो लेट्स कंसिडर वाई सो वाई इज टू प्लस थ्री रूट थ्री सी दिस इज रिटर्न ऑलरेडी अवर वाई वैल्यू सो लेट मी राइट हेयर वाई इन दिस मैनर दिस इज अवर वाई सो आई विल बी राइटिंग टू प्लस रूट थ्री थ्री रूट थ्री आई हैव स्प्लिट रूट थ्री प्लस टू रूट थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव ओवर टू प्लस रूट थ्री एज इट इज अनचेंज टू रूट थ्री प्लस रूट फाइव now i will split our numerator from here now i will split then i will be having let me write completely 1 2 plus root 3 over 2 plus root 3 in one bracket 2 root 3 plus root 5 in second bracket plus now this term will come i will write 2 root 3 plus root 5 over the same denominator 2 plus root 3 in one bracket in second bracket 2 root 3 plus root 5 so this time this term will be cancelled out here this bracket will be cancelled out so what is left that is 1 over 2 root 3 plus root 5 plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 now only rationalization is pending y equal to now let me write this term once again or this y value once again 1 over i need to write 2 root 3 plus root 5 plus 1 over 2 root 3 2 plus root 3 now i will multiply my numerator denominator by its conjugate so i need to multiply here 2 minus root 3 and here i will be multiplying 2 minus root 3 for this fractional value and here i need to multiply 2 root 3 minus root 5 so i will be multiplying here also 2 root 3 minus root 5 see now our denominator will be a plus b a minus b in both the cases and numerator is 2 root 3 minus root 5 denominator see it is let me write here 2 root 3 whole square minus root 5 whole square done plus 2 minus root 3 over a plus b a minus b so i will write a square so 2 square minus root 3 square if you will simplify then you will be writing 2 root 3 minus 5 root 5 over 4 times 3 12 12 minus 5 so let me write directly 7 plus 2 minus root 3 over 4 minus 3 so i will be writing 1 so in total it is 2 root 3 over let me write here 2 root 3 over 7 minus root 5 over 7 plus 2 minus root 3 this is our y value and if you remember our x value was if you remember this value was root 3 plus root 2 now what we have to find out it is 5x plus 7y so x and y both values we have evaluated simply put over there so i will write here 5x plus 7y let us write so 5x would be 5 times x so root 3 plus root 2 now 7 times y so 7 and in place of y i will be writing 2 root 3 over 
minus root 5 over 7 plus 2 minus root 3. Let's multiply 5 root 3 plus 5 root 2 plus 2 root 3, denominator 7 and 7 will be cancelled out, minus root 5 plus 14 minus 7 root 3. Now you can see here it is 5 root 3, 2 root 3. So 5 or plus 2, 7 root 3, negative 7 root 3 will be over. So remaining is our answer. So let me write once again 5x plus 7y equal to. I will write 14 plus 5 root 2 minus root 5. Now I will put this 5 into the square root. So I can write this 5 as square root 25. So I can write this one as 14 plus root 50 minus root 5. This is our final and ultimate answer for 5x plus 7y. 14 plus root 50 minus root 5. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.